Hi, Mr. Bray here. I'm uh, going to tell you a little bit about music class this year. Now, music class is going to be a little bit different this year. Uh, we're going to have some students who are learning from home, and we're going to have some students who come to music class every week. But we're going to be learning the same things. We need to be extra careful when we're at school about spreading germs, so we're going to have some limits on what we're going to be able to do in music class. For example, if we dance in music class, people might get too close to each other, uh, so we won't be dancing in music class. Also, when we sing, we can't help but spray germs everywhere, so we're not going to be singing in music class this year. I'm still going to post uh, things for you guys to do on my website. There will be dances, there will be songs for us to sing. We're just not going to do those when we're in music class. Another thing that uh, we're going to be limited on is uh, playing musical instruments. We don't have enough musical instruments for everybody in the school to have their own, and sharing musical instruments is a, a really quick way to spread germs. So we're not going to be getting the musical instruments out this year. Uh, these limits aren't a bad thing, though. Uh, working within limits is one way to boost creativity. And uh, so when we're actually in music class this year, we're going to focus on three things. Number one, we're going to focus on rhythm. I really enjoy playing instruments and teaching people how to do that. But since we won't be able to get the instruments out, what we're going to do is we're going to learn some skills that will help us play the drums. The cool thing about drums is that you can learn how to play them without actually having one. So uh, we're going to focus on counting rhythms. We're going to focus on playing different patterns. And we're going to be developing our coordination between our right and left hands. And if that goes well, we're going to add our feet in there as well. So uh, even though we're not going to be getting out the instruments to play, we're still going to learn how to play some things, you know, without the instruments. Uh, number two thing that we're going to do is we're going to be focusing on music appreciation. We're going to be learning about different musicians and the music that they made. Uh, we're going to read and watch videos about a lot of different musicians and listen to their songs. And we're going to check our knowledge uh, after we're done by either playing a game like quizzes or taking a quiz or something like that. Uh, this year we're going to start off by focusing on Texas music. And then later this year, we're going to learn about American music. And then finally, we're going to learn about music from all around the world. So we're going to do a lot of listening to music and a lot of uh, learning about different musicians. The last thing we're going to focus on in music class is going to be SongMaker. I love using SongMaker. It's a great tool for you to create your own music or to make your own versions of songs that other people wrote. Uh, we've learned how to use SongMaker before, but this year we're really going to focus on becoming SongMaker experts. So even though music class isn't going to be exactly the same as it always has been, we're going to take the opportunity to focus on a few important skills that will make us outstanding musicians. I'm looking forward to a great year in music, and I hope you are too.